Thank you for listening to the Golden Hour Drip podcast with me, Logan Lee Miller. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Golden Hour Drip podcast. I'm your host, Logan Lee Miller, and I just got back from the chiropractor. So I have been putting something off for the last three weeks. Um, I went to bed and woke up with extreme pain in my jaw. And when I opened it to eat my breakfast, I literally could feel a popping and it was super, super uncomfortable. And as I went along with my day, I just noticed this like dull aching feeling. And I was like, oh, I probably just slept wrong. I probably, you know, just ate something funky and it it has messed it up. This went on for two and a half weeks. Um, I would feel like slight pain every so often. And I'd be like, oh, like that's a little funky. But I was petrified to go to the chiropractor or go to the doctor or go to the dentist, you know, because I was afraid it could be my jaw. Um, And I was just thinking, oh my gosh, like, what if I have to get surgery? I don't have time to take off for work. Um, You know, what if it really inhibits my speaking, right? Like I podcast every week. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, like if I have to get surgery, like I'm going to have to prep a bunch of episodes beforehand. This is going to take away all of my vacation. I'm not going to be able to um, go on the trips that I have planned this upcoming summer. Garrett and I have a bunch of weddings and vacations planned. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is literally going to ruin my entire life. And I was just hoping that it would get better, right? Like we all have these problems that we just kind of let fester. And we're like, oh, they'll get better on their own. Like we just ignore them um, out of sight, out of mind. And I was ignoring this problem uh, until uh, last week, it was like Thursday, I was brushing my teeth and I noticed for the first time my teeth were misaligned. So this pain had gone on for so long that it was actually, and I knew it, I subconsciously, I knew that it was impacting the way I chewed, it was impacting my face, and so when I looked in the mirror and something was off-centered, I immediately got even more afraid, right? because I was afraid to correct the problem that I knew I had all along uh, by taking action and making an appointment or asking for recommendations for someone who is actually qualified and and can do it. Um, I was scared to do that, but now I'm scared that this has morphed into a bigger problem and I might have wrecked it even more, right? So I finally got scared enough um, because being afraid can push us into um, action, right? Um, And I think a lot of people avoid being afraid or, or stepping into that feeling because it's an uncomfortable feeling. It's not super fun, right? Um, it, it's not calming, it's not peaceful, <laughs> like it's just a yucky feeling. Um, we've all been scared of, you know, an outcome or a situation and I know that that has built upon um, the problem itself. I know that this jaw out of place, this misalignment, I know because I didn't do anything to it. I didn't, um, you know, fall. I, I didn't um, damage it in any way physical. I know it was stress. I know that um, in my sleep, I, I must have been just stressing out. Um, and that's where it like made my jaw come out of place. And so on top of it, I'm stressing about now my jaw is out of place that I, I'm afraid for uh, the entire situation. But fear can be good and fear can be bad, right? Like um, being frozen in place and not taking action, that's where fear can be bad. But fear can also be good when it pushes you to make a change in your life and to uh, press forward in something that you don't normally do. So I finally, I was (laughs) scared enough for my face, right? Like people look at you all day long, your face is um, the first thing that people see, right? That That's not conceited, that's, that's just life, right? And so I, you 
immediately. I called a chiropractor. I got a recommendation from a friend and um, the earliest they could get me in was Monday. I've never been to the chiropractor before. I was a bit nervous. Um, and I, I walked in and, and nobody was at the front desk. I was like, oh my gosh, it's at the end of the day. I got the last appointment of the day and I'm like, oh my gosh, nobody is even here. Like I am just like waiting and I really, I know everywhere, um, we have a staffing issue, right? Like, especially where I live, like people are short staffed. I know where I work, I'm short staffed. Like. And so it's okay that nobody's at the front desk. Like, I'll wait. <laughs> like, I, I am definitely, like, um, I, I don't mean to make a problem. I'll just wait here. But I was just thinking to myself, oh, my gosh. Like, nobody is here. I got the last appointment. I, like, kept checking the time. I was like, I am on time. Like, everything's good. Everything's fine. Um, and then they they checked me in. They're helping a patient in the back. And, and they had checked me in. And I was waiting. And I was, like, sitting there. I was like, oh, this is going to be so bad. I am not the type to be afraid of like the doctors or anything. Um, I'm not, you know, the dentist doesn't bother me. I am a high maintenance kind of girl, so I do like getting things done, right? Like I get a facial every um, month, I have Botox, like none of that stuff stresses me out, but this was stressing me out for some reason. The thought of like just bones moving in my face, like really had me stressed out. So I'm sitting there and I I had a book, so I was like trying to read my book, you know, stay off social media and, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, and then he walked out, right? Like he's like, all right, it, it's time to go in. And I was like, okay. Um, and so I go in and the nicest man ever, right? He's asking me about what may have caused the trauma and he's asking me questions about like my daily lifestyle. Very thorough, very, very nice put me at ease <laughs> and then he asked me are you nervous <laughs> I was like yeah I, I am nervous I'm afraid right and so I am um, he didn't have me like sit on the table he just had me sit in the chair before I actually like went to like lay on the bed right or lay on um what do they call it like the little the little board whatever and so um he's like all right like just sit sit down and then um he came up behind me and he felt my neck and then he felt the other side and he's like oh there's a major difference i was like yes that's why i'm here like i'm literally petrified and he like amplified my fears by saying oh yeah i can i can definitely tell a difference one it did validate my feelings that okay something was actually wrong because um i do tend to overanalyze stress out overthink things right um and i was like all right it's not in my head like something is actually wrong and so he was feeling around and i've never been adjusted before so <laughs> i was a little nervous and um he kept walking me through it he's like this is fine you're fine um and he adjusted my jaw he adjusted my neck the cracking was out of this world like <laughs> it was crazy loud um i don't know if it was just loud to me or if it was loud to someone who had been in the room, whatever. Um, he cracked my spine. That literally felt like um, if you were ever in gym class and those big heavy ropes that you like um, hold on to and they kind of like, or jump rope, I don't know if you've ever played like snake or anything, I, whatever. It literally felt like he snaps my back, like a whip or something like it. I felt every single vertebrae just like, it, it was wild. And the entire time I was thinking, okay that didn't hurt too bad okay that didn't hurt too bad all right that was uncomfortable but that also didn't hurt very bad maybe the next adjustment will hurt more you know and i kept anticipating pain and i was like oh like it can't be this easy like i've been stressing about this for three weeks it cannot be this easy it, it cannot be um this painless right like it was definitely uncomfortable i was put into positions that like it, it was different right and i kept just thinking to myself it's gonna get worse it's gonna get worse and it didn't get worse you know like it, it was fine i was adjusted um he did say that my jaw was uh <laughs> needed another adjustment and to come see him like on friday and he also said that i might have to get a brace inside my mouth so i'm a little nervous about that but it wasn't bad it, it was fine like i lived and I got out of there and I got into my truck and I did feel taller. I feel like cracking my spine, all the pressure um, and gravity, you know, where, and I have bad posture anyway, so like slumping and, and moving and stuff. So 
I did feel taller, right? Like I definitely felt taller. But as I was driving home, I was thinking to myself, how many times do we make a mountain out of like a molehill, right? Like whatever that saying is. How many times do we make things worse than they actually are? Where we are just overthinking it and overanalyzing it in our mind to where we actually scare ourselves more. And fear really, it's uncomfortable and it can be petrifying. Um, I experienced anxiety throughout my 20s, right? Um, it's definitely not a good feeling and you can feel like your entire world is falling <laughs> down around you, but it's usually not as bad as it seems. Whenever I have been growing up, obviously, whatever, like we all have life experiences and throughout life we're going to get through some uncomfortable situations, um, a friend and you might have a disagreement, a conflict, um, a coworker, and you might have a disagreement, a conflict, whatever. There are going to be things in our lives that we're dreading, that we're not feeling very confident about, but usually they're not as bad as they seem. Um, I work in a customer service role and so I'm always afraid if there is a touchy, touchy situation, right? Like how's the customer going to react um, and how am I going to handle that response? I, I'm in a very um, people are reactive and I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure out the solution to the problem, right? Um, but usually it's not as bad as it seems. And even if that customer does get a little grumpy and, and uh, expresses their uh, concern, their anger, whatever, it's usually not that bad. Once the customer leaves, I can take a deep breath. I'm like, you know what? I lived through it. We are more resilient than we give ourselves credit for. We have a whole life, you know, I'm 24 years old. I have had 24 years of adjusting and adapting to my situations, my circumstances, and that life experience is so valuable and so important. And I think we forget that in times of stress, that we've made it out on top before. We have made it through stressful situations, if not more stressful, and it was fine. So today's episode was about, you know, that fear that you might have, that uncomfortability, that thing that you're completely dreading and feel like is going to be the end of the world or you don't know how you're going to come back from it because it's something that is uncharted that you haven't done before and you're just scared shitless. Like, it's fine. It happens. But just know that you are a capable human being. You have made it out before. You will make it out again. Life keeps on turning. And I guarantee you, in five years or 10 years from now, you will not even be thinking about this situation. You won't even be thinking about the fear or that person. And if you are, then we need to work on that, right? Like we need to do some inner work. We need to do some journaling. Um, but most of the things are not gonna matter. I think back to when I was in high school, and the things that I had such big concern about, they didn't matter when I got to college. And I remember the things that seemed like the end of the world in college and I had to get it done and I had to do this and I had to be involved in this and I had to be a part of this. And, and then when I got into my adulthood, I was like, oh, like it doesn't matter that much anymore. And that's not to say life is meaningless or anything, but your focus is shift. The things that are important to you um, will change and you just have to accept that with grace and move into the next chapter, the next moment, and the next day. Realize that there will always be tomorrow to change how you reacted to the situation um, and you can grow as a person even better. So thank you so much for listening and until next time. Bye!